when I'm in China, I live in Beijing or Shanghai. When I'm out here, I have a home in Lele. Yeah, I travel a lot. Like pretty much every other month, I'll be flying like back and forth from Beijing to LA. It'd be an 11-hour flight from Beijing to New York. It'd be a 15-hour flight. So pretty insane. What's good, GQ? Is your boy Chris Wu, and these are my essentials. Let's start with a chopstick. So in China, everyone uses chopsticks, and, and when you're young, uh, usually your parents will teach you how to use a chopstick. I never learned how to use them properly. This is a lesson to everyone who was interested in learning, but this is the way you're supposed to use it, with the middle finger in between, and then kind of move it like this. I just do it kind of like, like this, just cheating a little bit. I can eat a lot of things with chopsticks, even eating like a chicken wing. I just stab it and just start eating it. I don't use my hand. It's a lot cleaner, I like it. There you go, chopsticks. All right, Supreme Boxers. I love these. So comfortable and at the same time, stylish. When you sag your pants a little bit, you know, we hip hop, so they see the little Supreme. Feels good. There you go, Supreme Boxers, essential. This little guy, this thing right here, you wonder what it's for, it's actually a doorknob. So back in the days in China, a lot of doors would have these type of doorknobs on it. And this is a lion. So it's like a gatekeeper. And then you would knock on the door with this little guy. There's probably only one in the world. And I got it from this collector in China. He was collecting these necklaces. At first he didn't want to sell it to me. And eventually the guy was like, okay, yeah, I'll sell it to you. Cause you actually look good with them and you're actually representing the, the culture. You might wonder why it's not a Rolly. I have something with Bulgari and we have a long-term relationship and these are two pieces I carry with me at all times. I have quite a big collection of, of Bulgari watch and there's one that I really wanted to ice it out. I think it'll, it'll look pretty nice because not a lot of people ice out Bulgari watch. So next time when I come back, you guys will see the iced out version. Get ready. They might be women's, but you know, if, if it looks good, you, you gotta rock with it. As an artist, you know, gotta have these. But this is something special, still I rise. Why is that? So I actually have a tattoo, all my fans know. It's right here. These are one of a kind, there's only one in the world. I also have these for different purposes, because say checking out a mix on a record, you wanna check on different headphones. What kinds of stuff are you listening to? At, by this time, my album will probably be out. So I gotta say like, Antares will be on my playlist for sure. My birthday is actually in November, November 6th. And there's a song called November Rain. It's one of my favorite songs from the album. I hope it will be the biggest song in November. So let's just say November Rain for sure. Top one on my playlist right now at the moment. Uh, and also I've been just checking out a lot of dope artists. Um, Black, you know, his new album. Um, Astro World, Travis Scott, you know, dope guy. So by this time you guys should already know I love Supreme. <laughs> Gotta have a MacBook with me, make music, make beats, or just watch my 10 essential video when it, when it comes out, you know. It's just a MacBook and I hope you guys all have one if you wanna make music, because these are good. On to the next. In China, these are very, very popular. You know, I can get away from people that might recognize me, but with this, they might not recognize me. So this is very essential for me in China. 90% of celebrities in China, they all have these. These are just very basic, um, but I custom made one where on the corner there's a little dragon. When you rock them the right way, they become like a little fashion item. I'm not really a, like a huge fan of like sunglass, but I like glasses where like they have color and it adds that little extra swag. And I like people to see my eyes when I'm on stage. Like I feel like when you're performing, they always want that eye contact. So what's also dope about these is if you check out my album cover right here, I'm wearing the same ones. This is essential for me. I need this. It adds that little extra style to it and it's really useful. Like, you know, you put your phones, whatever, cigarette, passport, anything. I could even sometimes fit like little, like small headphones and maybe one or two watch inside. I don't even know if we can buy these anymore. Maybe they stopped making them, but these are definitely nice ones. I mean, they're hot. They're hot for a reason. All right, last up. Check it out. 
first of all, this is my Chinese name. In the back is a lyric to my song that's on the album called Tian Vi. It's a Chinese song. Lu Yao Zhi Ma Li. It means don't judge people by first sight, first of all. And when you want to see their full potential, you got to give them time and then you'll know if they really got like something to show you. This is a special one for me because right here, this is my, my fan club, like what my fans are called. But this is actually a gift from, from my fans. A fan from my fans. And what's funny is my Chinese name is is also spelled F-A-N. All comes together and this is a this is a dope piece. They're super practical and they got that, you know, when you close it and open it like this. Got that swag, so. That's it, that's a wrap. That's a wrap? Oh, before I go, I gotta say, make sure y'all check out the new album. Thanks so much and I hope you guys like my 10 essentials.